Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another top 25 must haves. Now again, just like you guys did on the gadget video requesting star powers, on the star power video you guys wanted to see a top 25 hypercharges. So here we are, let's not waste any more time and coming in at number 25, we have Ruffs the goodest boy. So what this does is Ruff Super deals 25% more damage. I mean, that's cool and all, but what it actually does is whoever Ruffs gives his hyper charge to, he fully charges that brawler's hyper. Now that's kind of insane because let's say you're playing Heist, for example, and you have a Crow or a Colette on your team. When Crow or Colette use their hyper to get like 30, 40, or 50% damage onto the safe, you can give them your Ruffs hyper and then they can just do it again. Like most brawlers are not supposed to be able to get two hypers in one game. So the fact that you can easily do it with Ruffs is insane for a lot of different modes, specifically Heist. Next up, we have Nita's hyper bearing and she actually has one of the most useful hyper charges in the game. So what this does is it gives Nita's bear 15% more movement speed, which is actually really important when it comes to chasing down your opponents and 20% increased health. This basically makes it so you cannot ignore the bear. Like you 100% have to do something about that bear or you're gonna lose within the next 10 seconds. Additionally, if you have either of the gadgets, which I assume you do, if you have Nita's hypercharge, it just adds so much value to the bear. The bear is just so, so, good coming in at number 23 we have fangs dragon kick and this one's pretty simple all it does is it goes through walls and then leaves a trail of popcorn along the way now every brawler has weaknesses and strengths and one of fangs weaknesses is that obviously he can't shoot over or through walls so the fact that you can just super through any wall in the game even indestructible walls is kind of ridiculous i mean i'm sure a lot of you were playing the game roughly about a year to a year and a half ago where fang had the best hypercharge in the entire game and i'm just so happy it's not that anymore because that was so annoying to deal with but it's still a dangerous hypercharge no matter how good or bad fang is it could be an instant team wipe at any point of the game and there's absolutely no counterplay to it unless you have a stun so this is going to be our number 23. Coming in at number 22, we have 8-Bits Aimbot. And this is personally one of my favorite hypercharges in the game right now because I just love the strategy and the different things you can do with it. But basically all it does is it gives 8-Bits turret like a self-defense mechanism in a way. It shoots shots very fast that deal 230 damage. And unless you're walking in a perfect straight line, those shots are going to hit you. Now you might think this isn't that good, but it actually is insane because any type of aggressive brawler in heist, like Anita, a Carl, a Daryl, a Bull, anything like that has to get up close to the turret in order to take it out. And with the turret doing massive damage to those brawlers, they're basically just suiciding for your turret. You can get another one and it's just insane. Like this turret is so strong. It's also insane for gem grab because people try and take out your turret all the time. So 8-bit can't teleport back safely. And again, this is just a perfect way to keep people away from your turret. Coming at 21, we have Penny's new lobber. And this is actually also insane. There's so many good hypercharges in the game right now. And there's still, I don't even know what, probably like 30 more to still come out. So I'm kind of scared for what's left to come out. But what Penny's does is it basically just gives her a super mortar that has more HP, does more damage, and it shoots two shots at the same time. So you guys might think this is actually not that good of a hypercharge, but the reason it's good is because to avoid those two shots, you have to walk in a straight line in a specific direction. And when the brawler is doing that, you can just hit them so easily because you know where they're going. And then if they don't do that, well, then they're just screwed and they're getting hit by the Mortar and Mortar does a ton of damage plus leaves fireballs. The Mortar having more HP is also super important because it's a lot harder to take out and I just have only good things to say about this hypercharge. It makes Penny so much better. At number 20, we have Bull's Jaws of Steel and this is really easy. I'm not going to talk about it too much, but when Bull uses his Bulldoze Super, he takes 80% less damage. Now, the only bad thing with this is that while he's taking 80% more damage, the brawlers that he's facing are charging their super. So then when he goes back to normal HP and the fact that he's taking full damage, he still ends up dying. But then you're like really charging hypercharges and supers for every brawler on the map. So you can make a really good play with bull or do a lot of damage and basically guarantee you're going to be alive at the end of your bull, super, stomper, whatever you want to call it. But you better make sure you have teammates who are ready to defend supers that are coming back your way because you do a lot of supercharging. Coming in at number 19, we have Crow's Utility Knives. And this is specifically basically for heist. I mean, you can obviously use it in any mode. 
but it is specifically so so good in heist and all this is is crow gets these like daggers that spawn out of him i think twice and then go back towards where he lands now i know that doesn't sound that broken but when you watch it on your screen right now and you can see what the crow hypercharge can actually do it's insanity i mean it's even so good that lex was finally able to push his first rank 35 with me in heist so i mean if lex can do it anyone can do it coming in at number 18 we have angelo's in my element and he really really got a lot of value out of this hypercharge because it is perfect for angelo all that happens is when you pop your hypercharge when you have your super then the puddle of poison or healing or whatever you want to call it that angelo has follows him around everywhere on the map now this is broken because angelo does up to 4,000 damage probably a little bit more when he has hypercharge obviously so when you're hitting people for about 4.5 or like 5,000 or whatever angelo does with the hypercharge you're also leaving like 2,000 worth of poison on them so they can't heal plus they're taking about 7,000 hp worth of damage like it's unreal what you can do with this hypercharge to be honest at 17 this is a new one we have otis's silent stunner and i love that name to be honest it reminds me of steve austin if anyone knows then you know but what this does is it stuns your opponent for 1.5 seconds and it's kind of weird because you're muted so you already can't shoot so i feel like it's not adding a ton of value necessarily but because the brawler is standing still for 1.5 seconds very similarly in the last video when i was talking about how important bows mines are and making sure you have snare bear so you get the stun when brawlers stay still they usually die so this is a very very good hypercharge because the stun is exactly what otis needed coming in at 16 we have colette's teen spirit and obviously just like crow this one is very big for heist but to be honest a little bit more unlike crow it's more versatile and you can use it in different types of modes now obviously if you're pushing colette especially with the hypercharge you want to push her in heist because you can do mass amounts of damage pretty easily with this hyper but you can use her anywhere as long as you think there's going to be tanks there colette's hyper also charges pretty fast so you can probably get to a game and i just really like what it does to colette so it's definitely going to be ranked high up on my list another new ish one coming in at 15 we have tara super massive and this is a very good hypercharge because tara poles are kind of hard to hit and i know some people may disagree it's probably because you have 20,000 trophies and you're facing people with no hands but it just makes her super bigger and like unmissable and you don't need to be in the very middle of the super to get popped up like you can be anywhere in the area and you're still going to take 2000 damage and be popped up into the air which is like kind of a stun in a way so it's just a really great hypercharge and it fits tara perfectly at 14 we have cordelius's complete darkness and this is just like kind of unfair you pop your hypercharge you hit somebody with your super and they just stay still and take like it's just over they just got to take it like it's done they basically can't move. I mean, they can shoot back, and depending on the brawler, they can even sometimes kill you in the cord super. But if you take, like, a Primo, a Nita, like, anything that doesn't do a lot of damage or that doesn't have a lot of range, you're just cooked because you're standing still, and cord is just going to rip you to shreds with the damage buff. This one is one of my personal favorites. Coming in at 13, we have Surge's Stage 5. And, like, if you thought Stage 4 Surge was the best brawler in the game, which is what I thought for a very long time, well, you're going to stand corrected because there's now a stage five. So basically all this does is no matter if you hit your shot or miss your shot, it's going to split no matter what. And when you have all three shots coming out on both sides, so like six full shots coming out, it's basically impossible to miss with Surge. Now this is great because Surge does a lot of damage, but you can also make sure you keep people hit and low HP, and it's super easy to hit the shot. Like, if you can't hit this shot, you shouldn't be playing Surge. This is one of the most broken hypercharges, it's one of the most fun, and I just love the fact that Surge got this. Coming in at 12, and again, one of my personal favorites, we have Buzz's Buzzwatch. And you guys all know what this is. Buzz basically turns into Spider-Man and he just starts grappling all the walls an infinite amount of times for, I believe, six seconds. And this is just really great because you can just go up the map, team wipe, do crazy stuff, keep your super. I mean, this is just insane. And it makes Buzz an actual meta brawler, which is totally fun because who doesn't like Buzz? I mean, he's just a great chill guy you know we've had this brawler all over our list in the past few days but again coming in at number 11 we have dinah with his hypercharge boomer now the name is pretty fitting for dinah because he's a pretty old guy but what this does is it just makes your super do more damage 
And the super bombs, it also explodes smaller bombs where if you hit them, it charges half your super. So for anyone who plays the game and has seen Dinah use hypercharge, you see how easily Dinah can chain multiple hypercharge bombs at the same time. I mean, it's just completely broken. And if you can chain or hit a stun or do anything in combination with your hypercharge, I mean, it's basically an insta guaranteed team wipe. So now we're in our top 10. So keep in mind, these 10 brawlers hypercharges are the best hypercharges in the game and if you don't have an unlimited amount of coins like some content creators or pro players do then i would definitely recommend getting these 10 hypercharges but coming in at number 10 we have swift wins so sandy gives himself and his allies a 20 percent increased movement speed buff which is crazy all of you guys know health speed and damage are the three most important stats in the game so to get a 20 percent speed buff while you have a nine second invisibility is insane but if that isn't enough you also fully not stun but cancel the shot of your opponents for 0.5 seconds when you throw it down so you basically don't let them shoot you can run up to them super fast and you do more damage so i mean it's just absolute insanity the sandy hypercharge is so so good and it's basically a guaranteed goal every time in brawl ball at number nine we have leon's limbo and to be honest it might not feel to you guys like leon should be this high on the list because he's not meta right now but this hypercharge is so good the fact that he's actually just fully invisible even when he shoots he's still invisible even when you hit him he's still invisible like you can't see him at all is insane because you just can't hit leon when he's in this hypercharge form it's basically impossible you can hit him but you can't kill him so if you mix this hypercharge with any of his two star powers he just becomes like god for like six seconds and he's absolutely unreal when Leon comes back a little bit more into meta, you guys are going to see just how absurd this hypercharge is. Now for number eight, and I really don't want to admit this, we have Edgar's Outburst. Now this is just insane. You can like jump multiple times, especially if you combine your Let's Fly gadget with your jumps. And Edgar honestly becomes like kind of invincible. I don't want to talk about this too much more because I don't want to see random Edgar's on my team, but like, yeah it's good now it's kind of insane to me that this is only the seventh best hypercharge in the game but coming in at number seven we have barley's bottled up rage now this is just like the ultimate control super nothing can get in the path of this there's no way you're juking this it just leaves three ginormous shots of barley super that do 2000 damage and it burns grass it like it's just so strong there is nothing you can do to barley super this honestly could be the best or second best hypercharge in the game, but the reason it isn't is because it takes a very long time to charge. If I wasn't factoring in how long it took to charge these hypers, this could have honestly easily been top three. But if you're playing any type of control mode like hot zone or gem grab, barley hypercharge is the way to go. Now again, I can't believe this is only top six for me, but coming in at number six, we have Stu's Infinitro. And all of you guys know what this is. It's literally just Stu dashing everywhere you can't hit him you can't kill him you can't do nothing to this stew because he's just dashing all over the place for like six or seven seconds it's so unreal he can heal also while he's doing this so it's just so strong and unless you have a tank or a healer or that's really it then you're just gonna die to this stew and there's nothing you can do about it now we've officially broken into the top five here and there's no better way to start the top five list other than mortis's blood boomerang now this is just insane because this does so much damage it hits the enemy twice and it comes back to you with heals what this does is mortis basically has a boomerang bats and if you like if this is unreal i've had so many crazy team white plays using this hypercharge and this hypercharge alone honestly lifted mortis in the tier list like 30 or 40 ranks it's absurd Obviously, Mortis doesn't counter tanks, specifically tanks with shotguns like Shelly, Bull, or Daryl, to name a few. But there are some tanks that Mortis can do decent into, like Primo, Buzz, Sam, Ash, Rosa, to name a few. And this Boomerang Bats Hypercharge is a complete hard counter for those tanks. Because you're going to chain the Hypercharge twice, you're going to get the Hypercharge multiple times in the game, and you can actually just fully take out enemies easily 
using it. Now coming in at number four, we have Loose Slushy Storm. And this is just an obvious one. When you throw your hypercharge onto somebody, it instant freezes them. And that's just insane because they're just automatically dead. Like there's nothing they can do about it. They're frozen. You're hypercharged. Like you're doing a ton of damage. You're clipping them. They're automatically dead. If you hit seven bullets, I believe it's seven. It could be six. But I think if you hit seven bullets, then you can also chain your hypercharge and then throw it onto someone else. Like it's absolutely ridiculous, especially if you're facing tanks. It's as much of a guaranteed kill as there is in Brawl Stars. So if you're good at aiming and you're good at Lou and you need to upgrade a brawler that's good into tanks, then I would 100% recommend getting this hypercharge. Now starting off our top three, we have Max's Unlimited Energy. And if you guys don't know about this, then I don't know if you're living under a rock or what you're doing, but this is the best teammate hypercharge in the game along with Sandy's. Basically, Max just pops a speed that lasts almost two times. Maybe it is two times as long as her regular speed. And then she also charges 25% of her teammates' hypercharges while she uses her speed. So it's kind of like roughs where you can charge somebody's hypercharge, but instead of it being a full hypercharge, it's just 25%. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but if you and your three teammates all stand on top of each other, then the hypercharge boosts stack. And you can get up to 75% of your hypercharge boost from one max speed just by standing on top of each other. This is an absolutely unreal hypercharge because if you have teammates who have hypercharges, they're probably going to get theirs twice in a game, if not even maybe three times. And that's just a scary sight to face three hypercharges in one game. Now coming in at number two, we have Mutation Rico, aka Rico Hypercharge Trick Shot King. And this is basically you just shoot your bouncy balls off of a wall and you just see where they go and see how many people they kill. I mean, it's unbelievable. I can't believe they literally took Stu's and Rico's mutation and was like, yeah, let's just make those hypercharges. But they did. And Rico's is absolutely broken. I mean, you can easily team wipe. You can easily chain. There's tons of great plays that you can make with Rico's hypercharge super. There's no more explanation really needed. It's just broken. We all know that. Let's move on to number one, which is obviously going to be Gale's blizzard i mean there's just i don't even know what i can say about this this is just basically an automatic not just one kill but an automatic like two or three kills if you can just connect and use it properly it's two knockbacks it's a stun if you have the right star power it's a ton of damage nobody can come near you it's just an absolutely unstoppable hypercharge especially if you're facing tanks i mean it's just like game over if you load into a game with gale and you have hyper and you're facing tanks because it's basically a automatic at least one team wipe worthy play a game now that's going to be it for my top 25 list of hypercharges that you need to buy if you want to push far in brawl stars now obviously if you're good with some brawlers or like some brawlers more than others you don't need to buy them in this exact order it's just kind of a little bit of a list to help you guys understand what the best purchase you can make is but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to like comment and subscribe and that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys again later peace